Welcome to Camp Thor Golding. I'm gonna let you in right now and we're gonna get a tour of the place. This campus is gorgeous. We happen to be here on a really, really beautiful day. How old is Dora Golding? This is our 96th year that we're open. I've been the camp director for 26 years and I love it and we've been having an unbelievable experience here. We have every amenity that a child can dream of to, to come to camp and enjoy from swimming to boating to miniature golf, tennis, volleyball, hockey, soccer, basketball, oh my goodness. and anything else that they want to come up with. I'm looking here at, at these tennis courts and I see these massive, massive lights. It looks like you have a lot of lighting going on at this camp. We do. We have a lot of lighting for security purposes. We have a lot of lighting for the games at night. That's one of the things we invested in. So during nighttime, it is broad daylight here. And this way we're in a secure environment and we can know where all the children are. We take a view of the beautiful lake the beautiful camp, if you like to see it. This is a this beautiful is a sight. That goes right across the lake. Kids harness themselves on the zip line and you zip across to the other side. And you have boating, fishing, there's a shul down there. It's the great outdoors of Pennsylvania. We love being in Pennsylvania. It's a beautiful area. The scenery is amazing. We have beautiful views of Delaware Water Gap from near our bunkhouses. Can you tell me a little about the um, security measures that you have in place here? Um, we have installed many different items around the camp in order to make it secure for ourselves and for our campers and our parents. On the past couple of years, more so recently, we put a security gate up in the front of the camp. Uh, we have a security booth, we have a security guard who watches over the entrance to make sure only the right people are allowed into our beautiful facility. So when you came in to visit us, they checked you out before you got into here. And I got a, I got a little call on my radio telling me that you're here to see me. We also have a walkie-talkie system with about 40 people that are on the same frequency in case there's an issue or there's a problem. Uh, we also have cameras at the entrance of the camp uh, in all different directions, uh, videotaping 24 hours a day for anybody that may come in uh, during the year or during the summer. Every single time 911 is called, they're here. We have no signage outside of the camp where some camps will tell you, oh, 50 feet to Camp Thorough Golding, 100 feet. We don't put any signs up there. The only way you know to come here is if you are authorized to be here. It's great for us to see because we work with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to create and to help you implement different of these programs to advance your camp and keep your camp safe. So it's amazing to get to be here and see you putting all that to use. So we are very grateful to the state of Pennsylvania, all the politicians in Harrisburg and locally who have helped at our camp with some grants in the past and hopefully some more in the future. And uh, it's really helped the campers here have a wonderful time. We have campers from all over the country, from Pennsylvania as well. So a lot of the money is going to people who live here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We are looking forward to be working with Teach Coalition and the OU for many years to come.